guys. I've got two minutes to go here. I've got my piece. I decided to go back to this view um, overhead so that uh, I might be able to do better close-ups. Don't know. Uh, apologize for the shadows. T has the extension cord, so I kind of got stuck with no lights again, but it is what it is. So, I'm hoping I have seen some uh, wonderful pieces. I've seen uh, Carolyn's, who else had hers? Jenny or Gina? Don't remember which of you had yours out, Nita. So, I'm really anxious to see what the rest of you come up with. Heard some neat ideas, so I guess we'll, we'll see. As you can see, also, I have a table full of, table full of, hold on a second, I'm trying to see if I'm live or not on here, so, there we go, okay. Hold on here, where am I? Oh my gosh. I got this crazy on this, trying to find, oh my gosh, I'm seeing Stephanie's, oh wow, okay. Still trying to find myself. This is crazy, okay? I go nuts on here trying to find. Where am I? Trying to find myself live on, on Juju. It's just like, I, you know, anybody else go, go nuts on that but me. That's me insane. I have no idea. Who knows? So I'm gonna try, let's see, I see Jenny there. Jenny, you said you're falling behind. Oh dear, that's not good. Well, thank you. And hi, Brigitte. Brigitte? Or, let's see, anybody else there? Anyway, it's time to go here. So I probably am not gonna be able to see your comments unless I like stick my head up here under the phone, but um, I will try to, to keep up, maybe. We'll see. Since I appear to not be showing up on live. Oh my God. Anyway, okay, so as you can see, I completely, and it's okay, Nita, <laughs> I completely changed up things here because I didn't like the way it was looking and um, I don't know I like this much better I'm not much on red but I really really love pinks and magentas and and uh, fuchsias I, I love purples love that that section of the color wheel so I decided to go with that so let me tell you what I've done going now and last Friday I went ahead and I did the Crackle paste on here. I went ahead and adhered my objects and I adhered them, all of them except for these little cups. I adhered the rest of them before I did the crackle paste and that worked pretty well. And then I did, oh, excuse me, I put these on too. I put the cups and the little green things on this morning. Then I got a wild hair and I decided to change the color scheme because I didn't like it. So then I mixed up this color and it was pretty close to this, which is, let me tell you what that is. It is the Iridescent Stainless Steel Coarse from Golden. And I did a mixture of dioxazine purple and I think there was maybe a couple of drops of cobalt turquoise in there. And there might have been some Quinn Magenta in there. I don't know. Mixed that all together, and I actually kind of painted the stems that way. And then I was like, oh, I don't like those because they look too close to the top. So I went ahead and to use the stuff up, I went ahead and, and painted it on the sides. And I like it much better there because that also has, it has that coarse texture, which kind of added to what I already had there. So to cover up what I did on the stems, I went back with some green, this is uh, Lumiere, Halo Blue Gold. And it's green, it says blue gold, but it really is green, it's really strange. And that also kind of picked up on here. If you remember, I had painted those green last week and then I brushed over it with some of the copper, I think, or gold, and then I just brushed over that again with the green. As far as the mushroom caps, I've just been playing, experimenting a little bit on these. 
So um, I have left, these are pretty much the same as they were last week. I did decide to add some of this uh, permanent violet dark. I took that and I painted just a little bit of it, watered down, painted it on here, and painted a little bit on here, and then just dabbed a little bit on here. So that's where I am right now. Uh, what else? Oh, and on the top of this, the crackle paste. I wanted, I was leaning towards a purple, and then I got to thinking about it, and I was like, oh, no, I'm going to go ahead and go with, stick with the red. So what I, I did was I pulled out, this is uh, lindysgang.com. Uh, they're magical shakers, and this shade is called Autumn Maple, Maple Crimson. So it is a beautiful uh, maroonish red. So I thought I'd try that. And if you'll notice on here, it has these little places where there's a different color on there. That wasn't me. That's actually the paint itself. It's like uh, Brusho watercolors. It has a little something in there so that when you put it on, it's, it pops out a little, little tiny bits of different colors in there, which make it kind of interesting. Now right now, I haven't put any varnish on this, so everything's pretty dull. Okay. So before I, I varnish that, and I'm going to go ahead and, and start to varnish that today so you can see the difference it makes. I'm also going to use the varnish to adhere some of the little finishing results. But before we do that, I'm thinking about adding a little bit on here. I have my Dale Rowney inks. This is Purple Lake. And I have this De La Rowney, um, this is called Volcano Red, and I really, I really don't like the color. It's almost an, an orange, peachy kind of thing, um, not a color that I really am fond of at all. But I did use just a little touch of it on here, if you can see that. And along with the cat hair, oh, it's, it's shedding season here, guys. I mean, fur is everywhere. So I put a little bit on there along with some of the uh, Purple Lake and it was kind of interesting, but I don't think I'm gonna put any more of it on there. I didn't like it that much. So what am I gonna do on the tops of here? Well, I have some options here. I have all the gold stuff, right, that I started out with. I have this gold crushed up Christmas ornaments can see that that I have some of that I also have I forgot I had red and I really think I'm gonna go with the red because I like I like the pops of red with this purple and pink in here so may go with that I've got some of the little micro beads this is the pink I also have them in the gold I do have some of my liquid metal copper. I have some, this is just glitter in the red. And I do have some more just kind of gold beads kind of thing. Not sure about those. I also found these five beads here that are really pretty, that gold. They do have the holes on either side. But I was thinking maybe that might be kind of cool put in there around the mushrooms. I don't know. We'll see. And I have this stuff, which is called, it's, who makes this? Ranger makes this. It's called Ice Resin op Fire Opal. And this is the most awesome stuff. It is just amazing. And of course, I still have the, what did I do with it? Oh, this is by, who is this by? Stampendous, and this is the Copper Lux mix, which I love that too because I do think I'm going to add some some copper around the sides there. So I have oh, and I have this green. I have the green micro beads too. If I decide to add another little pop of green in there, I've got my golden iridescent bright gold, and I have the uh, Deco Art metallic luster, the Gold Rush. Got it all here as to what I'm gonna use, I don't know. So I think what I'm gonna start with here is I'm gonna get my copper 
and I'm going to kind of dry brush on around the sides of here. And by dry brush, I mean I am just not going to use very much paint at all. Kind of. And of course, I can't find the one I'm looking for. Well, I'll use this one. Not going to use much paint at all, but I just want to see how that's going to pop on that. In fact, I'm going to get that out of the way and work out of the lid here. Okay. Hi, Nita. Hey, Tusi. Tusi and I, or Evelyn, Evelyn McMillan, I'm calling her Tusi because she and I used to teach um, high school art together at uh, uh, Pascal in Fort Worth. Hey, Carolyn. And she retired, what, a couple of years, maybe two years maybe a year before I did. And she was so much my mentor. She, she, man, I was starting from scratch because I'm so, I'm totally self-taught. Um, no idea what I was doing when they hired me at that school. It was uh, kind of weird. I, I showed up at the school and I, I had been doing mosaics for a while. And I showed up for my interview at the high school with a head, a head. <laughs> I'll have to show that head to you guys one of these days. A head in a bag. Um, not a real head, of course. But it was done with, with glass and with jewelry and stuff. And it was pretty cool. But that was all I had going for myself. I really, that and I'd been teaching music for years and years. Uh, that was about all I had. I didn't have any art experience whatsoever. No idea what I was doing. And here I got thrown into teaching Art One, which is um, you give a preview or, or overview, I should say, not a preview, an overview of all medium, not all, but many mediums um, and stuff and styles that you'd be doing in uh, just beginning art. And so I was teaching myself right along with everybody else. And Tusi helped tremendously. So, okay, looking at this, I would like that a lot, actually. So I may try just a tatty bit of this around on top of this autumn maple. And I'm just, I'm holding my brush horizontally to my surface. And all I'm doing is picking up the high points where I've hit with that crackle paste. That's all I'm doing here. And I'm not putting very much on because I really want that uh, autumn maple to, to pop in there. But I love metallics and you know me, I'm just gonna shove it on there wherever I can. There is nothing that a little copper or gold doesn't make better, is there? I might also, this might be a nice thing to do, kind of holding it sideways like this, there we go, to do, okay, this could be awkward, I'm trying to hold it where you can see it, the, on the stems, putting a little copper on the stems themselves, I'm liking that too, that kind of tones down that green just a little bit, it's already all over my hands, but so at this point, who cares, right? Thanks, Carolyn. I appreciate that. Cherie and Fran, welcome. Okay. And of course, I'm on top of there. All right. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start varnishing. And I'm using the Liquitex um, gloss varnish is what I'm using. And... I put mine in a container like this. It just, it's easier to work out of because I use, I buy it by the gallon and um, that's a little awkward. So I just work with it on this. Okay. So another thing as we're going through this is that as I do this, I'm gonna use my varnish to adhere 
some of my uh, finishing elements on here, the little beads or whatever. And if I don't get them added right now, I can still come back when it's dry and I can add some more. It's perfectly okay to do that. And after I've varnished, if I want to add some more paint, I can do that too. I do that all the time. So let's see what this looks like here with some varnish. Now, the Magicals are almost a dye more than a paint, and they really stain. You notice my hand? That's, that's why. They're all over me this morning. But as you can see, this is starting to um, get a lot more of a rich color to it. And that's what that varnish does. I'll just do one side because I'm, I can't hold it like this and <laughs> talk about all over myself. It will be all over me. I try to brush this on fairly thinly if I can. Notice I'm really trying to avoid the, the, the blooms and the buds and all that stuff. I'm trying to work around that at the moment because I know that's where most of my little finish elements are going to go so I'm trying to put that on more to the end. Okay, give this a shot. Depends on how coordinated I am which is most of the time is not very much. I find that the older I get, I have the, like, the grace of a duck. I can barely walk two feet without falling over something. And then, of course, the memory goes along with that. So it's just like, jeez. Oh, what did I say? Um, getting old is not for sissies. My parents had a sign, a little embroidered sign somebody gave them in their room when they were in a nursing home. And, said that. Now I know. I use a gloss. I actually prefer semi-gloss paints. And you can you can buy the satin varnish, but I it's, you know, just as easy to buy with me again since I'm using high good quantities of it. I can buy a gallon of the matte and a gallon of the gloss and I just mix them together and I've had good luck with that. But the gloss really brings out these colors. And you know, now you can see it's starting to get on my brush. The, it does move around. When you're using the um, dry elements, uh, the magicals are the primary, primary elements from color art. Those are gonna reactivate with the varnish and they are gonna move around a bit. Now, I, that doesn't bother me because of the style that I use. But if it, if it does bother you, then you just, you're going to have to uh, just remember to, to frequently wipe your brush. And note that that color's getting in here into my varnish a little bit. I don't care. ahead and get the stems. I kept the uh, underside of the cap of the mushroom. I kept that with the uh, quinacridone Nicolazzo gold. Just in case somebody was underneath this and wanted to look up. You never know. Now, I'll run through and I'll do this, whoa, there he goes again, and then I'll probably go back through and I will touch up anywhere I need to touch up, do what I need to do. Okay, so 
Let's play a bit with these mushrooms right here. Oh gosh, it's, it's really sticky. You know, you start you start molting for the rest of the day when you get that, that varnish and stuff all over you. It's it's just like uh, soft gel gloss. It just stays on you. Okay, let's see here. How about these three? What shall I do with those? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to put a little of that opal, fire opal, the ice resin. I think I'm going to sprinkle just a little of that on there. I don't have to glob up on the, the varnish here. Although sometimes I do that accidentally, but it's not necessary. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to take just a little pinch. And I mean little. This also has a little bit of green in it. So that's going to pick up the green in these little whatever they are things. That's kind of cool. I like that it adds another color in there, but I do want to do something different. I mean, those those three are the same type of mushroom, so I'd like to do something different on these five that are that are the same. I wish now that I'd kind of mixed them up more, but you know, it is what it is. I am gonna wipe up my wipe off my brush. I don't have to wash it. I'm just wiping it off. Okay, I think on these I am gonna put some of the crushed red here and I'm going to pour just a little bit into the cap okay you can see that some of these pieces are a little large so what I'm going to do since I don't have a mortar and I have a big mortar and pestle but I don't have it over here I'm going to use the end of this this uh, stencil brush and I'm just going to crunch this up and that lovely sound a little bit I'm turning this. This is, this is, I know I'm not thinking again. Um, this is actually glass, so I really don't want this on the floor where the cats are going to run into it. And they will. Okay, so let's, let's try this. Let's try this on this little bitty one right here. See how it looks. There's no rule that they all have to be the same. Maybe I'll put this on three of them and something else in the other two. In fact, I like that idea. I'm glad that bigger piece fell off and that's, that's fine. I'd rather it did. Okay, that's cool. So I think I'm gonna put it on maybe these two. Now, if I decide when this dries that I don't have enough on there, I can go back and just put a little varnish over the top again and add some more. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do this one. Those are pretty. Okay, so now I come to come to the decision. Okay, what am I going to do? I've got two more remaining. What am I going to do there? Well, let's see. I could add some, just some of this red glitter, or I could come back and I could, I could, and I think I will. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to all over the hands. I'm going to put some more of this fire opal on those two, just to add some continuity here.
just for grins. Now, as it gets down in here, that's fine too. In fact, I may put some, and I did, right here where these little green nodule things are, just to add a little interest in there, which is kind of fun. And, you know, I love shiny. Shinier the better. Okay, so that leaves, that leaves our little cups here and these little, whatever they are, things. Okay, so before I put the stuff on here, let me think about what I'm going to do. Um, you know, totally off subject, but I think I'm going to put some of these little green beads in here. Because that gives just a, a little more of the pop of green, which I, I like. Just sprinkle it around. It's kind of like cooking. a little bit on there and after I finished I'll take after this dries I will take close-ups of this so you can see okay, that did not answer the question of what am I gonna put in there okay so hmm, hmm. I think this gold I think this gold is what I'm gonna put into I think I'm gonna put the gold in here So I am putting a little extra of the uh, varnish in there on that. This dries clear, obviously, so um, it's okay. I do want to kind of catch grips. And then we'll make the decision on the other. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. That did it. I'm going to have to find some more of these ornaments. Look at that. That turned out cool. Now we're, now we're entering the fairy mushroom stage here. I mean, that's where, that's where we're at. I, you know, and you could probably coat this with resin or something and actually have them be waterproof. I don't work with resin, so mine are going to stay in the house. Okay. And on these, I'm going to put these little gold micro beads. I'm not trying to cover the entire little thing. I'm just putting them more in the center. Okay. Got two more over here. Okay. Okay. So at this point, we've done pretty much uh, again, I need to go back and touch up with varnish. Pretty much what we can do right now, okay? Because it's wet. I've added all the finishing stuff that I want to add. I'm thinking that more than likely what I'm going to do when this dries, I'm going to go back in with this Deco Art uh, metallic luster stuff, which looks like, for those of you who don't know, it looks like it's just like wax, but it's not. Um, it's very dry, and it dries out with time, but you can rehydrate it just by giving it a squirt of water. So what I will probably do is use that and go back and highlight some more of the uh, of the the bed of the the wood here and go back under there and highlight i will probably 
go back, back and get the edges of everything. I may use that or I may use the iridescent uh, bright gold from Golden. One of the two, but I will put some bright on there. I may alternate between the copper and the gold. I'm thinking this is just too much, too much glitter. We've got glitter going on here. I'm thinking any more is too much, even though that just, that hurts my heart to have to say that, but I think it would be. So this is where we are. I don't think it's necessary to do another uh, tutorial for just to finish that up. When it's dry, when I have added those things, I will post pictures, close-ups of it here on Juju's, and um, you can see what to do. I would be very interested in seeing your pieces. I know I've seen Carolyn's most, I guess, and she's she's done these awesome. She did a little snail and a ladybug. Hers is, I mean, it's just going to be cool. So I really, really want to see what you've got, so please post it. And um, I think we are done with this project for now. I'm going to try and do maybe one tutorial a month. Um, since I'm not going to be teaching live this year, uh, I'll just kind of give you the things that I had planned on doing in classes. So again, invite your friends to this. It's all free. You're welcome here. And Juju's, we embrace all sorts of art forms. It doesn't matter if it's mixed media. Just, just show your art, share what you do, share your tips, share your process, and we'll all support and help each other out. And, and that is what it's all about. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, pictures will be forthcoming. Have a good one. Bye.